Okay, so here we go. Oh man, we're here at the Netherlands. And oh boy, the first two practice programs were raining. And then at qualifying, it wasn't raining. It was supposed to be sunny, but the track was damp. So I didn't do too good. I couldn't even get past the second round of qualification. Because the AI are pretty much beasts. It seems like it's a dry track for them. They're not sliding around whatsoever. So Sergio Perez is now my new rival. He beat me in qualifying. I, I couldn't help it. <laughs> I mean, so now we have a brand new race. I uh, just finished the race. And what a turnout it was. Oh, my goodness. The AI had a brain fart again. So anyway, here we go with the race. And I started at 15th spot. Here we go. So I started up and I was like, whoa, my tires slipped. <laughs> Almost had a rocket ship start, but my tires slipped on me. And right here, I was just trying to be careful coming out of there, just slowly moving up in spots up here and right here finally got past him but I got blocked right there and I'm right next to um, one of the Alpines well I passed Alpine actually <laughs> oh man but I think back here um one second Alonzo just came in on me. Was it right there? Oh, it wasn't right there then. Where was it? Nope, it wasn't right there. Okay. Not right there. Well, it was somewhere. Um, no, Alonzo's up there. It's up ahead. Okay. Yeah, Alonzo gave me the bump. I'm sure he's going to have um, a collision warning with me later on. I haven't even checked yet. But um, as we go in here, as you can see, I mean, I can see a lot better because it's not heavy, heavy rain. Um, I can see the rear end of the vehicle driving like that. Or in this view, I'm trying to make a little squeeze right there that I give him enough room it looks like I gave him plenty of room actually Ooh, kind of close yeah I could have gave me more room but oh well anyway so I think that was max velocity I just passed and I see Sergio Perez right in front of me um, right there max was not on his game this race man well, not yet. I think he, he just took a while to warm up. So we're just going to watch Alonzo here. Um, I think it was right up here. Yeah, so Alonzo is playing good defense, which I really enjoy. You know, trying to slip in a little late and see if I can pass him wide. Nope, I can't do it. Alonzo is playing really good defense. I'm hype. You know, this is a good, exciting race. And I'm following him really close. I mean, in the rain, and I'm following him that close. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm getting ballsy. Um, so right around there, um, this next turn coming up here, they like to give you a brake check. Um, is it this one? No, no, not this one. Oh, yeah, it is this one. So, my tires locked up a little bit. I don't know if you heard that. Yeah, it locked up right there. I like coming in there a little hot for some reason. I just keep on um, misjudging the braking zone. So, I'm testing, like, different braking zone uh, while, while it is wet. Um, when the... Look at this. Okay, right here. So... Let's go into a different view here. Was it right here? No, it's up here. So right here, see, I got the jump on him. 
I'm pretty much ahead of him right now. And then I break early because that's my breaking zone right there at that mark in the wet. So he outbreak me and he came right into me for no reason. This was way, way too early to turn in. And he just bumped me. Good thing he didn't damage my wing. So after that, I paused like right in the middle of the turn right here, which is stupid. I should have went straight first to check to see if I had any damage. And I didn't have damage. So when I came back, I was all jerky and I had to let him go. <laughs> I was like, oh, my goodness. But I believe that's the only incident from me. So now I'm ticked off at Alonzo and you see me totally break really late almost went into the wall i was like okay i gotta get past alonzo he's ticking me up and right here so i went for a really risky move right here i'm all into the grass here <laughs> trying to pass alonzo dumping a little bit of my ers to make sure i pass him i need to get away from alonzo because he's trying to wreck me <laughs> so anyway Alonzo's behind me now he's not going to get a chance to pass me I'm trying to stay uh, within the slipstream of Sergio Perez right here look at all that water we're picking up trying to see if I can make a pass on out wide nope and look at how close I'm following him I am brave driving in the rain <laughs> right here so I got a good speed coming out of here look at this because I'm right in his slipstream and I'm like oh yeah I think I have enough power I'm gonna try to pass him up here and break a little late nope we we break at the same time but he let me go because I had the inside line I guess he didn't want to try to go wider uh, the AI is not too smart Um, right there, I could be breaking a little bit better. I mean, I, I did okay through that section, but I think I'm breaking just a tad late. Um, I'm, I'm relying too much on my uh, trail breaking. But, okay, so I think Lando Norris is next. Yep, it is Lando Norris. Um, I passed Sergio now. That's all I wanted. I, so, right now, I'm just going to take it slow. We got a, a lot of racing to go we're only on lap four and Lando Norris came out of there slow I think he was sliding or something yeah he was you saw him he was just sliding around so that's why I got out of there better than him so I decided to just go ahead and try to give him the pass and I went look at that see because I was trying to pass him, I break late, really late, went way outside. And that was not the warning I got out of there. And I was like, okay, I need to calm down now. <laughs> I almost went, well, I did go off the track. Because, <laughs> you know, I keep on misjudging the breaking zone on that turn. That that turn right there was the only turn that was giving me problems really um i did mess up on one of the turns um where was it uh not this one um was it that turn no this one no so I think, nope, I just took the chance to pass him out wide because he was driving slow, gently with the throttle, but I think that's Russell. No, Russell was in first, that's Hamilton. That's right, Russell was in first place. So I'm now behind the two Ferraris that's up here. They're the two Ferraris been driving good. So I had a choice of Charles Leclerc or Sergio Perez. And I went with Sergio because the Ferrari on this save right here have been. Ooh, man, I'm so sorry. I just had to yawn. have been on fire. I, 
I had three cups of coffee already. And I'm yawning. I need to go make another cup of coffee. So anyway, as we go in with the race here, like I said, I'm just going to take my time. I'm just going to follow them really close. If they mess up, I'm, I'm just going to pass them up. So doing doing some of the turns when I'm trail breaking here, I'm, I, I'm catching up because my trail breaking is really helping me. And um, it seems like the AI sees the apex. Well, they should see the apex sooner than me since they're in front. But um, I see the apex and I'm, I'm trying to push the throttle a little bit. And um, later on, you're going to start to see me slipping and sliding everywhere. Because right now, um, I think last on flat four, they were saying that it's only going to be 10 more minutes of rain. Okay. So... And I was like, okay, 10 more minutes of rain. So the track is going to dry up. And right here, I'm not trying to pass him. I'm just breaking late. So there was a yellow flag from somebody. It must have been Charles Leclerc. He DNF. I don't know what's going on with Calderon. I think she just had bad race crap and experience right now. I have to upgrade the facility for her so she can get more experience and, and her whole driving race crap and everything. And, um, you know, since I went um, to automatically put on automatic facility upgrades... For this year at the start I did not look at the facility Where um, Right there <laughs> Am I looking at me? I'm not looking at me So right here This freaking turn I break late again Overshot the turn Almost went into the gravel <laughs> I was like oh my goodness um, So I didn't get any warnings from that So now I'm trying to let Russell go Because I just want to follow him around that way he can help me through the track you know <laughs> as you can see um it's still raining but we're not picking up that much more water now earlier we were picking up a whole bunch of water but now we're picking up less water so the track is slowly um drying up or the rain is not as heavy so i went um, breaking late there again So and I'm like Okay I'm screwing up left and right Just focus Just follow George Russell around And that way You know he's going to show me where The racing line is <laughs> Just follow the CPU So Here we go I'm just following him Right here again I break late and I was like, oh crap, late again. <laughs> Cause I didn't want to pass him. It was just me trying to test like different braking zone, <laughs> you know? Because it's so hard to judge where to brake in that zone when it's raining like this. I think this is the first time I ever ooh, right there. I break late again. I was like, woo. Good thing the tires didn't lock up. If the tires would have locked up, I would have ran into them. Because I wouldn't have control if it slide. So, yeah, it's that turn all through the race, man. It's just that one turn. I can't I can't judge where to start braking right. And how much pressure a brake. And right here, I started to brake. You see that? As soon as I passed the 150, I started to let go. And this time was much better. And I was like, okay, that's got to be the spot. So I could break just a little earlier than the 150 mark. <laughs> so it was kind of like that the entire race. Trying to um, see the markers, when I should break, you know. Trying to set up my little break markers, so to speak. So now, I'm just, you know, following George Russell, and the next car is not that far behind us. At one point, they were like, um, 
three seconds down because I was messing up. I was slowing George Russell down. So they they they're catching up. Look at them. They're right behind us. So and they, and Mark kept on coming on the radio. Yeah, it looks like we're gonna have a dry race coming up soon. Here's the new strategy update. Because initially I was supposed to pit on lap 16. And then the new update wanted me to stay out until lap 20. And I checked the tires and they were um, they were not in the orange yet, but they were in the yellow. Um, getting darker yellow. And I was like, oh man, can I make this? To lap 20? And I was like, well, I'll just do what I did last time. I'll just follow George Russell in if he pits. I'm just going to follow him in. Um, it's going to be a big mistake, really, for that choice. And right here, you see that? This infamous turn. So as soon as that 150 come, I'm already breaking. See? And it's a lot better because before... You know, I would pass the 150, and as soon as I come up to this 100, that's when I would usually start breaking. And it's way too late. You got to break way before this mark come up. And you see, it's a lot better now. I'm not, you know, breaking way too late, overshooting, you know, overshooting the turn because I overshot that turn so many times. I think I have one warning from this turn right here. I went a little wide. Maybe this turn. I think I only have one warning. One track limit warning. Maybe two. I, I can't remember now. It should still be fresh in my mind. I, I just, you know, just finished the race. But anyway, we're, so now I set my strategy to pit on lap 20. And as you can see, I don't see any more raindrops coming down. There are no more raindrops coming down. See that? So, and the track is drying up. The track is now drying up, but we're still picking up some water. As I was following him, and I see all that water is being picked up, and I was like, okay, it is not time to come in yet. There's no way the track is dry enough to put slicks on. And that was when Mark came on the radio and he's like, okay, with, I think we're on the right tire right now. We don't need to change. So just stay on the tire. And I was like, no kidding. <laughs> because, I mean, I'm just watching. So I had it in my mind that if George Russell pits before lap 20, right, I'm not going to pit because... I'm going to stick with lap 20. The track is drying because I don't I don't want to pit. And then all of a sudden, I have to come back to pit again for dry tires. And I was like, no. So, and then I was like, and then I'm going to wait until they activate the DRS before I come in. So, as you can see, George Russell changed. I think he switched up his strategy as well. So I'm trying not to follow him too close. And um, I think that's um, Hamilton. Yeah, Hamilton just picked up speed somehow, man. I don't know where he came from. But he kept up right behind us. At one point, he was almost right behind my tail. So we're coming up on lap 17 now. There is no sign of um, George Russell going in the pit. And I was like, oh, mm, okay. The track is drying. He is not picking up that much more water now. I'm following him. I can see him a lot better. I can see the track a lot better. <laughs> but yeah. So lap 18, he's still not coming in. I was like, okay. I guess we're just going to keep on going to lap 20. I'm just going to keep following him. You know, I can actually drive by myself now. Now that the track is not wet, you know, I can see the track a lot better. And right there, George Russell. Oh, no. Oh, yeah. I came in hot. Again. Boom. 
that was when I got my first warning right there. I was like, oh, crap. <laughs> so I'm letting him go again. Yeah, that freaking turn. So we're on lap 19 now. Right? So they still haven't said anything. And then, all of a sudden, towards the end of the lap, they, um, they activated the DRS on this lap and everyone's like oh crap it is now time to go in so I'm over here trying to fumble you see watch I'm, I'm really close to him now so I'm trying to fumble through the menu to select my medium tires and look at this see I'm shipping really slow and I was like looking for it looking for it right now still looking for it and I think after this um, turn up here I was like okay here we go so I selected medium tires because medium tires should be able to make 15, 15, 16 laps. So I was like, yeah, medium tires should be able to do that. Um, so anyway, I was like, if George Russell is not coming in, I'm going in anyway because they already activated the DRS. And there goes George Russell going in. I follow him in. That was when the AI took over. And I didn't even look at the pit time. Because as soon as I pit, I just went to grab my vape. And I started smoking. Wasn't paying attention to it at all. So here I come. Watch this. I switch on medium. Right? And look, look at George Russell. George Russell pit on another set of intermediate tires. They just activated the DRS. Okay, Gasly stayed out for one more lap. I guess he didn't want to double stack. Alonzo's coming in. He got hard tires on. And Lando Norris with hard tires. Perez with hard tires on. Okay, so Hamilton is coming in right now. Nope, Hamilton pit on intermediate tires. So, Max, he stayed out. Max came in for hard tires, Alcon with hard tires, Stroll with hard tires. But you can see that the track is still wet. Hulkenberg with hard tires, and he stayed out. He stayed out. Everyone else stayed out for now. I think uh, Color Sign stayed out, too. So, these guys that are in front right here, they stayed out. And I was like, oh my goodness, the track is drying up, so I'm just going to carefully drive on the damp track, carefully. You see how slow I'm driving? <laughs> just to warm up my tires first. So I'm hoping by the time the tires get warmed up, you know, the track is going to dry a little bit more. So here I go. Just slowly coming around. As you can see, I was driving so slow that the car behind is catching up to me. Because there, when the track is like this, the track was like this during qualifying. And they put me on soft tires for qualification. And I can't drive that fast when it's damp like this. But the AI on the other hand, you can see, look at this. That's Perez in hard tires and he already caught up to me he was way over almost three seconds behind me because the track is still damp right now i can't really push it and he's right behind me but i'm trying to keep him behind me the track is drying up every single lap now and i'm getting more and more comfortable i'm trying to push the car more and more now and I think by the next lap, the track is drying up a little bit more. Yep, do you see that? The track is really dry now. So I'm starting to push the car a little bit more now. You see that? He's still right behind me, though. And right around this lap. Yeah, it was this lap. Towards the end of this lap, Mark comes on the radio and he goes... Um, we have an issue with your DRS system. It won't open. Just stay out. We'll work on it from here. 
And I was like, oh my goodness. Because before he did that, I was going to let Perez pass me so I can follow him. But no, I can't do that now. Because, yeah, my DRS won't open. If he gets within one second of me and get on that DRS, he's going to be gone. I can't get the DRS to open to catch up to him. So I'm doing my best right now trying to use the ERS like wisely because I know if I drain the ERS and he catches up right behind me, it's game over. So, but yeah, I mean... The track is really dry now, so I'm really comfortable with the track now. I keep on going wide there. Um, so later on, I experiment, you know, just kind of like having faith in my initial turn and just go ahead and turn in. Right now, I'm not. So that's why it's like wide. And right there, I understand I was on a dirty part of the track. So that's why he keep on. Um, but I'm keeping him. Within one second behind me, a little over one second behind me, I can't pull away from him because I don't know, man. I don't know what it is with, with Perez. He is possessed. He is on fire with those hard tires on. And, you know, the track is drying up. I'm pushing the car even more and more now. And right through here, see, I can go down here third now. Chip down to six. Drop down to four, drop down to second here. That turn was a little bit better. And right here, just kind of gun it. Okay, there's going to be um, a right turn coming up soon. Here we go. Drop down to six gear. And I understood it a little bit. That was, I think that was my second warning, actually, of that turn back there. I went a little wide. Yeah, come down here in third, shift to fifth, drop down to fourth. You can actually go through there in fourth gear, but there I kind of understeered a little bit. See, I'm not trusting my initial turn yet. If I would have just trust my initial turn and just stick with it, it would have been a lot better, which I, I find out that, like, later on during the race. So that was me. But you can see that Perez, he is not giving up. He is on hard tires. He's right behind me. And he's got, um, I think that's Lando Norris. Yep, Lando Norris right behind him. Giving him pressure. Because I know Lando Norris has DRS. Yep, it opened up. There goes Lando Norris. Nope. Is he going to have enough power? But pretty much all the action is right here with them fighting each other. And I was like, okay, keep fighting each other. Because I saw, you know, them keep swapping places. I was like, yeah, keep <laughs> keep fighting each other. So that way I can slip away. But I can't slip away for some reason because I'm too scared to use up a whole bunch of ERS. <laughs> I don't, I don't want to... Um, mess up so and i was like okay i'm just gonna keep driving at this pace here using ers at a certain spot just to stay out of their drs range but lando norris never got close enough to activate drs yeah but yeah this is pretty much the race they never did caught up to me hey alexa stop <laughs> Her regular forecast every day around 6, I think. Is it 6? 6? 6.30. Around 6.30. So, yeah. Lando Norris is, like, right behind me. Look at that. I can't shake them. Yeah, but he, he never got DRS on me. See, his DRS didn't open. That's the DRS, DRS zone right there. But I'm just keeping them within one second because... um. I was thinking, man, maybe the soft tires could have made it to 16 laps. That would have been pushing it, though. Tires would have been all worn down by then. But it was it was a pretty good, exciting race. But yeah, it would have been even more exciting. Actually, if, if I really think about it, I would have lost the race. Because I would have just followed Russell 
And then I would have find out later that I can't use the DRS. So I won't be able to pass him. So this turn of events is good. There goes my teammate. Um, yeah, she just doesn't have the driving experience. We have a good car. She just don't have the experience. It's okay. I'm just going to keep growing her. So anyway, there goes the race. Here I come crossing the finish line. Bam, first place. Congratulations to Cali Mayers. Um, Lando Norris came in second, beating out Sergio Perez. And where is Max? Oh, Max DNF. Yeah, he was having problems. So Russell came in six because of that stupid pit stop that he did. Man, if he would have just, uh, I don't know why. They, they reactivated the DRS. Why would you go into pit for another set of wet tires? Not wet tires, but intermediate tires. I don't, I don't know what the AI was thinking. So let's right away look at the race director's incidents. Charles mechanical failure, mechanical failure, cutting corners. Oh, I had two warnings. Okay, wait, where's that collision? From Alonzo. Come on, man. <laughs> no collision. So anyway, the pit crew is getting better because I um, I went into the facility and finally upgraded one improvement pit stop because that was in the, uh, the facility. I never even looked through it. So I need to upgrade those so we can have a quick pit stop. Um, yeah, no one else did that much better. I don't see a whole lot of, never mind. There's one right there, a 2.2 second stop. As long as I don't see a 1.9 second stop, man, that, cause that, that was a bug. Had to have been the bug. Um, let's go to the standings. I'm way, way ahead in points. Don't really care. And we just need to stay in fourth spot, really, because I want to get that Red Bull engine next year. And I'm not even trying to compete for the constructors this year. Hopefully I can get Tatiana to, to come up. Uh, get her more experience but anyway so that's the race that's all i got for now as always guys thanks for watching until next time peace